Our oceans and water bodies are facing a crisis. Pollution, overfishing and climate change have taken a toll on marine ecosystems, threatening their delicate balance. The EU Mission Ocean wants to restore the health of our waters and oceans by 2030. And Mick and Mac could play a big role. <laughs> These little fellas are a micro and a macro algae, and both are easy to please. All they require to thrive is sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, and nutrients. Nutrients, like those found in domestic and industrial wastewater, can enter our water bodies, causing fish mortality and dead zones. But their impact can go far beyond their duty as wastewater managers. Scientists at the Locality Research Project are taking a very close look at the two. Their idea? Turning Mick and Mac and their relatives into innovative algae-based products. To make them feel comfortable, the family of Mac is grown in coastal waters and taken from wild stock, and Mick's family in ponds or tubes of algae farms. The grown algae are then processed in biorefineries. This is where the magic happens. Ingredients from the algae are used for the development of innovative and sustainable products. Imagine a world where your morning scrambled eggs are made of algae proteins. And if you want a sausage on the side, there's an eco-friendly algae-based alternative. But it's not just about what's on your plate. Mick and Mac's influence starts already with the food production. They can be used as natural fertilizers and help to develop a circular agriculture. Moreover, their influence makes fish healthier. Their components can be valuable additives to fortify Atlantic salmon feeds. This way, we can keep them healthy and safe from diseases while farming, all in a nature-friendly manner. And let's not forget the fashion industry. The two buddies can help create dyes and produce new plant-based textiles. It really is amazing what great sustainable products can be made with the help of these two. Soon, you will be able to enjoy food and clothing while helping to restore our oceans. <laughs>